All right, returning now to our top story this morning, breaking news from the Ottawa area. Police are on the scene of a homicide where six people are dead, including four children. This happened at a home in the Ottawa suburb of Barhaven. Police say the six victims were found dead late last night. One person was taken to hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. There has been an arrest in this case, and police say there is no threat to public safety. Investigators believe the four children are members of the same family. Oh Ottawa Police Chief Eric Stubbs said that they do not believe this incident is of a domestic or intimate partner uh, violent nature. CTV's Jeremy Sharon is on the scene now. He joins us now with more. Jeremy, what are you learning? Yeah, Marcia, look, we're still in the early stages here in the in, in the investigation. All of this happened just before 11 o'clock last night. I'm going to get out of the way and let you see what the scene looks like here in Barhaven, just a, a quiet suburb outside of Ottawa. What we've seen in the last hour or so, I've only been here uh, for a little bit, but we have colleagues that have been on the scene for several hours. Police have uh, have been, uh, have had a heavy presence here in Marcia, but in the last hour or so appear uh, to be uh, removing bodies from the house. They They've had white tarps open, uh, trying to kind of block things and, and uh, keep things as, as private as possible. But they, they do appear to be uh, moving uh, bodies out of the house. And you can see uh, on the scene here, there are investigators in white suits, very typical of a crime scene like this. Uh, so what, what we know is this is very much still an active and ongoing investigation. Uh, early stages we learned from the, uh, the police chief, uh, they're still very much in the early stages. And, and trying to determine just what happened here. We still don't know uh, specific details about the victims here or the suspect. We know police have a, a suspect in custody. We don't know um, really any information about that suspect. We're hearing from people in the neighborhood here that are just shocked to hear of what happened. I just spoke with a, a gentleman who lives a few doors down, says his daughter uh, was making her way home from school around 10 o'clock last night. Uh, and so they were up and awake when all of this happened. He said it was a, a very chaotic scene. Uh, dozens of police cars. He says multiple ambulances were on scene for quite some time. Uh, really, uh, people in the neighborhood here in Barhaven just describing uh, a very disturbing scene here, Marcia. Okay, Jeremy, Jeremy, some follow up questions and full appreciation if you don't know the answers yet. As you report, it is very early on. There has been an arrest made in this case. Was that suspect arrested there at the scene? Do you know that? Uh, it, 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 Police did make an arrest at the scene here, yes. What we don't know is whether or not there is any connection between the suspect um, and uh, any of the victims. Uh, we don't know of any connection. All of those details are still very limit limited. But yes, it, it, it sounds like police made an arrest here on the scene last night when, when they arrived, shortly after they arrived. Have police said how they died? That's not clear either. Uh, you know, uh, there, there, there have been talks all morning among uh, neighbors, and nobody seems to have heard anything. So it really isn't clear here uh, how these people died yet. Uh, police have not confirmed that information yet. It's expected we should learn more information at some point later today uh, from police as this investigation continues. Uh, but at this point, it really is unclear uh, how these people died. Okay, and Jeremy, Jeremy, as you point out, a huge shock for neighbors seeing this in their quiet suburban neighborhood. Have you learned anything about the family? Has anyone told you any details about these, fa the, these family members? Yeah, Marcia, just getting out of the way here so we can we can let you see kind of what is happening behind us. Very active crime scene. Uh, to, to your question, it, it's not clear yet. We have not learned much about uh, the family that, that was involved here, the victims. As I mentioned, I just spoke with a neighbor just a few doors down moments ago. He said he's lived here for about 23 years. Um, he said he didn't know this family. He didn't, uh, you know, have any specific information to share about who they were um, or, or any personal information, just that he was absolutely shocked to see something like this that in his 23 years here in this quiet suburban uh, neighborhood outside of Ottawa he's never seen anything like this and so um, we will continue to, to try and of course uh, look for some of that information you know as we we slowly start to learn more information about these victims and and um, and the people that were involved here but at this point a lot of that is still unclear. 
Jeremy, thank you for that reporting. Again, uh, Jeremy Sharon on the scene in Barhaven. This is near Ottawa this morning. And if you're just joining us, uh, Jeremy just reporting that it appears the process is underway to remove the bodies from this home. And it looks as though they are trying to block that scene, um, that moment when the bodies are removed from television cameras. Jeremy telling us that uh, this incident started to unfold late last night. We see a number of police vehicles there. Jeremy Sharon, please stay close and let us know if you learn anything new.